Welcome, another video day. Um, so today, what we're doing, uh, we've decided that we're gonna go get lost. And it happened on a good day because we just went to uh, our local Hy-Vee grocery store to get some essentials, AKA Rockstar Exdurance Energy. Rockstar, if you haven't gotten the message yet, I pretty much promote this on every video I do. So let's hook up, call a bro, okay? Cool, thanks, best energy drink on the planet. Super Sours Green Apple, cop that mug. Okay, so today's agenda, oh wait, I am getting off track. We went to Hy-Vee, got energy drinks, and we got Tiny a protein bar, and we realized we don't like people today. And that's fairly common. We love people, because that's what we're called to do. That's what God asks us to do. We just don't like them. They were being very rude, and so we're like, yeah, that's a good thing that we chose today to go get lost. So what that looks like, is we're gonna flip a coin and we're gonna start with east and west and whichever one wins on that will go up again. Oh, then we're gonna flip for north and south and then the winners of both those will go against each other and then we will go that direction. And we literally have no idea where we're gonna end up. No plans, no destinations in mind at all. Zero, zilch, nada. And just see what we find. So we're gonna flip a coin. I'll give this to Tiny. So east, east is heads, west is tails. Okay. And I don't want to know what we're starting on. Here we go. So, west, west. West won that one. There's tails. Okay, so west will go up against north and south. And north will be tails, south. <laughs> Why would you do it that way? What? North would be heads. Oh, north will be heads, <laughs> south will be tails. That makes sense. Okay. Ah! <laughs> Do that again. With less vigor. And the winner is... North! North! So, wow, I called this earlier. Yeah. North and west being the winners. North versus west. So, north is heads now. West is tails now. So the direction that we will start off today is, drum roll. <laughs> I'll add it in digitally. North! We're heading north. Heading north. Heading north with Abe Lincoln. Hey Blinken. Did you say Abe Lincoln? No, I say Abe Lincoln. I said Hey Blinken. So we got, we got our rock stars. I got my Burger King coffee, 50 cents at Burger King right now. If you're all looking for black coffee, let's get this party started. Um, so we just took our first left turn, veering left turn. This is where we ended up. We're on a gravel road. We saw this tree line off in the distance and we thought, let's find it. Let's go out to that tree line and see what that looks like and see how fun that is. Um, the temperature is currently a nice 59 degrees. It's beautiful. The countryside of Iowa, flat, pretty plain, but overall, it's attractive. <laughs> attractive. Oh no, I just lost my phone. What everybody else is doing to be just, just attractive. Iowa, home of the attractive <laughs> landscape. Okay, are we gonna go right or are we gonna go left? Um, it looks like right is a level road, so maybe left. Oh, we have a down, looks like we have a downgrade over there. Oh, yeah. It also looks like a B-level road. Oh, it's not so bad. It, there's a little bit of moisture for some, from some rain. Turning left or going straight? Going this way. Down the grade. It's a very smooth road. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh dang, he has some heck, heck of uh, some horns there. They've been like straight out. See, we're already finding Iowa majesty. Just like that, it's that easy. Just get out and explore. So we just found the roller coaster for cars. Whee! Wouldn't want to take this in the winter time. Oh my gosh. No wonder it has some fresh gravel on it. You'd never get out. <gasps> That's what she said? It's actually really cool. cool. Little valley and creek down here. You're in Iowa and I 
look like an Iowan. <laughs> I told you last night, I have a different dialect than most Iowans. Okay? You're making me feel insecure. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so, we're traveling on this back road here, and we just found this little camp called Bear Creek Camp. And I'm guessing that's that's Bear Creek right down there. So we're gonna go take a game. Well, I guess we can't because it's closed. <laughs> what the heck, Bear Creek? Welcome to Bear Creek Camp. Before or by entering here, you agree to the following. To observe a 10 miles per hour <laughs> speed limit and the one way direction, to keep your vehicle on gravel intended for vehicles, to park only in parking lots, this is not interesting. <laughs> it's a pretty big camp though. You can't really see it a whole lot, but. Yeah, it is very big. I'd like to go in there. Yeah. Wow, somebody well, did that whole sign by themselves. Like it's in handwriting. With wow, a you're right. The legend and everything. Yeah, you're right. Well. What now? We keep going. Okay. See what else we can find that we can actually enter Bear Creek Campground. So we decided to get out and explore because it's actually really cool over here. Check out the little Bear Creek. Be careful of the thorns. What? Holy cow! <laughs> They're massive. My gosh, that's a huge thorn. Jeez. Just on the edge, edge too. Like it, it actually the thorns disappear the farther you go back. Yeah. Holy thorn tree, Batman. <laughs> right? That's My wild. gosh. Like, careful of that. That is insane. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. Imagine if we were all naked and afraid and we had to Jeez, like, yeah, you're right next to another thorn tree. I don't even know where to walk. Right in front of you is a thorn tree, too. Hey. Holy cow, it's like a force field. What if when we were out there and we were hunting? Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, wow. Wow. Hey. Okay, yeah, literally, I've never seen a tree like this ever in Nothing Iowa. This is made to This is chill. insanity. Look at this sucker. It's just covered in thorns. Wow. It's like a tree from hell. I'm kidding. That is crazy. It's like, it, it creeps me out. It creeps, it gives me a really gross Ugh. feeling. Yeah, grody chickens. Well, 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 here we are. Don't fall, Tiny. <laughs> I know, it's very slick. Yes, it is. <laughs> the ground is very, uh, very moist. Moist. Wow, this water is so clear. Yes, it is. There's Bear Creek. Our first discovery of the day. Yeah. It's beautiful. I'm sure the whole little park is, is cool. I'm sure it is. Yeah. You want to go for a swim? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. I'll just run and die from here. It looks, it looks deep enough. It'll break, it'll break my fall. I wouldn't dive necessarily, but I'm sure you could just do a little barrel roll down there. That'd be great. Do a barrel roll! That'd be a good way to get down. Yeah. And get down. Get Be a down. good way to get down. <laughs> you Australian. <laughs> good day. Get down. Get down there for a swim. That's like Australian <laughs> and British. <laughs> oh boy. Just like when you were trying to sing that French song earlier. <laughs> and it, turned, I, into it turned into a Middle Eastern Indian song. <laughs> wow. Well, oh, as uh, Tommy and Johnny's nature show would say, on with the journey. On with the journey. So we got lost at Sam's Club in Ames. So we ended up 45 or minutes or more north of home. And uh, we just found a place where we're like, oh my gosh, we know where we're at. And then we're like, hey, let's go to Ames because we're hungry. So if you guys have never been to Sam's Club, they have an amazing menu with pizza for super cheap. And it's really big. Like, there's my hand. See how big it is? It's huge. And then I got to eat with her. <laughs> so now we're eating and then we're gonna go get lost again. Okay, thank you. And now it says the battery's... I'm so confused with what's going on. If this dies, it's not my fault. My battery's made all sorts of weird. We're uh, scaling these stairs right now. We happened to get lost and end up at Iowa State University in Ames. Actually, we just drove here. I was gonna say, we put on the map. 
we did not get lost. No, here. I knew how to get here, so we weren't we're literally the, like the least amount of loss you can think about. We definitely fury tickets to Ames. To Ames, yeah. I'm not talking about Ames, I'm talking about Iowa State. Oh yeah, okay, that's true. When I left last time, apparently talking keeps me from uh <laughs> focusing on being high <sighs> up. Because now all of a sudden I'm like unable to breathe. We made it. <laughs> I really don't like how we can see through the floor. Oh yeah. See? See through the floor. But it's metal. So we should be okay. It's pretty solid. Yeah, I just can't look up. They'll throw my trajectory off. <laughs> trajectory? Where am I, am I jumping or what? <laughs> That's what happens when I'm up high. I'm out of breath and I'm scared. But it's okay. There's, yeah, uh, yeah, we get we good, fam. What are we gonna do? I don't know. <laughs> I can see myself in your glasses. Well, I could. My display just turned off. There we go. It's a beautiful day. Beautiful day at Iowa in State. Wow. Beautiful day at Iowa State. Do you want me to sit on the No. Tiny. <laughs> it's so it's so nice. It is. I'm caught. I'm oh, no. caught. I'm just gonna have to leave you. No. You're gonna become a dried up raisin in the sun. Go to the fire department. Goodbye. Goodbye, Tiny. You're not caught, you little stinker. <laughs> I got you good. It's <laughs> great for catching some rays. Yeah, it is. That's true. This is definitely higher than it looks. Yeah, for sure. We'll see, we're what, three stories up? One, two, three, yeah. I think this is a flight simulator. Like one of the world's most, or one of the state's most innovative flight simulators or something like that. Yeah. The architecture, so cool. That's where we just came from. Okay, so you see this here. As we go down the way, they become Steely Griffin. This one looks really good. Another one. Another one. And then they stop.
so that's where we were a little while ago but now we're back here in the car um so now we're done with iowa state and we're gonna go find other adventure elsewhere not quite sure where yeah on with the journey onward hear the wind already so if you look out here, you can see a shadow on the ground. In a few moments, you'll see what it is. You ready? ready? Here we go. It's so big. It's the first time Shy's ever been to the base of one. Holy cow, it's gonna blow me over. It's insane, isn't it? Sight that you really can't explain. You just gotta, you gotta see it. Been here a thousand times. Been where a thousand times? Still the same. This is the Jack Pine Trail. Yeah been here a thousand times. Oh, okay. Never changes, huh? Never changes. How long has this bridge been here? Wow. I would say 19, 1935. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Uh, I just think it's so beautiful. <laughs> it's so, it's beautiful that, it's so beautiful that it's laughable? <laughs> well, it's nearly a hun hundred years old. Nearly a hundy. Yeah. <laughs> nearly a Benji. <laughs> it's really amazing. Beautiful, you know, it's nature. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. You're really having a retrospective moment. <laughs> I mean, I haven't been here as long as the bridge has been here, but. You've visited the amount of years that it's been here. 100%. You've definitely visited here a hundred times, almost a hundred times. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, almost. <laughs> yeah, walk down memory lane. Same old, same old. Some things never change. Wow. Look at, these must be fish or something here. The water all disturbed. Oh yeah, like a ton of fish. Some would say, to, say a school. Yeah, some would say that. What if it's not fish? It's definitely it's moving. Like, it's on the go. It's not moving that fast. Though. Is it wa like water striders or something? I can see like little. Oh yeah, it could be. Could be bugs. Grody chickens. It's weird. Oh Whoa. my gosh. Okay, yeah, that's definitely fish. Definitely fish. Ooh, kind of muddy. Good thing we brought our hiking shoes. And that's right. Uh, this could be deceiving. Oof, that's gooey. The goose has stood here for a while because there's just a pile of goose dew. the heck was that i don't know what just jumped in the water but it made the weirdest sound it's like like a bird and almost made me fall in the water but i didn't and i'm not brave enough or stable enough to go out on that not in these work boots that's for show for show for show ah i almost fell but i didn't close though. I felt myself going in. I found a stick. Oh, that's a nice one too. Very nice. Very nice stick, Tiny. Very nice. There's one over there too. 
Oh yeah, right there. Oh, and right back there. What the heck? I mean, it could be Boy Scouts, potential. As you all know, I hunt Bigfoot, we hunt Bigfoot. And so we're just getting ready to leave this park. We just found like all this, all these sticks stacked very uh, specifically. Like, look at this, this mess all intertwined. If we go back here, there's another one all put together. And then one right there and actually another one back there. Now, there's a possibility this is done by Boy Scouts. We've heard that Boy Scouts do this. I, I don't know, I'm not a Boy Scout, never have been, so I can't confirm or deny. If you're a Boy Scout or have been a Boy Scout and you know if these kind of structures or whatever you want to call them are something that Boy Scouts put together, let me know in the comments so that I don't have to continue to wonder if it's like a Bigfoot thing. Just to take that off the plate, let me know. Okay, so we're just driving through Altoona here, um, which is a little suburb of uh, Des Moines, if you're unaware. And we just drove by Burger King here, and uh, it's like all like busted up and such. Broken glass all right here. Oh yeah, look at it, like the Burger King stuff's on the ground. It's like it's been vandalized, like super heavily vandalized. Yeah, it looks like it. There's a lady walking up here right now too. Yeah. She must think it's open. I have no idea why she's here. Wow. So there's like caution tape. The drive through window is boarded up. Everything's still in there though. All chairs and everything. Yeah, the $6 King box is present, current, as far as I know. Yeah, look at the drive through window's been busted out too. Oh my gosh, you're right. I'm, I'm gonna look it up. Yeah, Google that sucker. Altoona Fire is latest in series of Burger King blazes in Iowa. When was that? In January. Really? Yep. Is it this one? Yeah. Really? Yes. A whopper of a fire had, has forced a Des Moines area Burger King to close indefinitely. The latest restaurant in the fast food chain to catch fire in the past few months. The fire broke out around 3.30 a.m. at the Burger King in Altoona. You can see, you guys can't see in the video, but inside on this glass you can see like a smoky residue with water. Oh my gosh, yeah. And then I, I bet someone broke in the windows and went in and vandalized yeah because there's literally crowns burger king crowns all over the ground it's funny like every video i've done like recently features a burger king the hauntacon video has burger king filming with seth and alan at jester park for squatch iowa has burger king and now this has burger king well we're gonna just leave it at that yeah hmm. crazy 7.50, we're home now. We got some snacks. And then the, and the and ending the night off with my favorite keto ice cream. Well, Shy got her popcorn, extra butter. And then I got enlightened ice cream and it's movie night. It's literally um, buttered popcorn flavored ice cream and it's amazing. Or it has chocolate and caramel in it as well. Yes, so our day was extremely successful. We found ourselves lost. Then we found ourselves in a place we recognized. And then we went to eat and we went to the university. We drove around a lot more. And it was a beautiful day and beautiful weather and we were safe. Thank you, Jesus. And so now it's time to go relax and just chill and not have anything for our minds to worry about. Yeah. On that note, always remember, it's all knee and no foot. Yeah. Why are you laughing? it's so beautiful. <laughs> it's so beautiful that it's laughable? <laughs> well, it's nearly a hundred years old.